Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make your own rainbow highlighter that everybody's been going crazy about because I just tried to order it and it pissed me off because it was sold out in like two seconds. So I decided to make my own and you're going to need an empty pan, which this is an old um, Maybelline Master Highlight that I just cleaned out and then took a cotton swab to with uh, a cotton ball with alcohol to clean it. Then a little mixing palette just to mix the colors. And then you're going to need alcohol. It doesn't really matter what, uh, this is just 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I've done it with all kinds, so it pretty much works with every kind you use. Some toothpicks or something to mix the stuff with. And then your colors. Now you can use like an old eyeshadow palette like this and just crush the colors up. But I'm going to use loose pigments just to eliminate that step. So these are Glamour Doll Eyes ones. I have a reddish pink called Be Mine. I have an orange called Jailhouse Jumpsuit. A yellow called Electric Lemonade. A green called Immature. A blue called Vanity. A purple called Glam Girl. And then I have a little sample of the Guerlain meteorites pearls all crushed up to make it like extra shimmery. These are already pretty shimmery, but the I'm trying to make it as close a dupe as possible to the highlight that's been for sale. So I'm gonna just have my little pan here and ready to go and then all you have to do is make a paste out of each color by mixing a couple drops of alcohol and some of the powder. I just want to make sure that I have enough to fill up the pan, so I'm probably going to use most of this, which is okay because I haven't used these in quite a bit. And then I'm just going to do a little squirt at a time. It doesn't matter if you put too much because the alcohol just evaporates anyway, it's just going to take longer for it to dry. But this is the same idea as if you break an eyeshadow and you try to repress it. That's all we're doing here. It's a pretty big pan, so I'm going to end up using probably most of this. And to every color, I'm going to put a little bit of the crushed meteorites here. Just so that it's got... You could use, like, vanilla pigment from MAC, too, or something like that, but... actually going to be easier to just use a shimmery like silvery white shade than to crush up the little meteorites things. So I'm going to do that. Now the trick is getting it from this mush state into the pan to make it look like the highlighter. So I'm going to just do the best I can here. And the reddish pink color goes first. Alright, so there's the reddish color. That's going to get lighter as it dries. Um, next color is the orange. So same thing. We're going to do that to all of the colors and then I will come back. Alright, now, so now that I have them all in the pan, it looks like this. And the purple on its own was a little bit too dark, so I mixed some of the shimmery white in with it to make more of a... I don't know if you can see it there, but it's more of like a lavender shade. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty watery right now, so I'm going to let it dry for a little while, and then I'm going to press a paper towel over the top of it to kind of press it in, and then we'll see what it looks like after that. Alright, so this is going to be the last step before I have to let it dry for a few hours at least before we can test it. But um, you just take a paper towel 
Don't worry about messing it up because basically all this does is soak up the liquid from it. If you've ever pressed, repressed a broken eyeshadow or a blush or anything, you already know this step. So, it doesn't have a cute pattern on it or anything, but this is going to do the job for what we need it to do. So you basically want to get out as much of the moisture as you can. And it looks pretty on the paper towel. So I'm going to do it a couple of times. And don't mind my fingers, they're all... I have eyeshadow all over me now. Usually when you do eyeshadows you can use like a quarter or something that's the size of the pan, but I don't have anything that's like a metal disc the size of this pan, so we're using our fingers. I'm gonna get it the best as we can. So I got most of the liquid out. Maybe I'll do it one more time. This is going to be very shimmery because I added that shimmery white into every shade. But it's a highlighter, so you want it to be glowy anyway. And like I said, this isn't going to be exact, exact like the Bitter Lace Beauty one. But I tried to use all the same colors in there because I have seen already, of course, other Etsy sellers are trying to do the same thing to jump on the uh, Rainbow Highlight bandwagon. And a lot of them are like pastel colors, they're not, they don't have the red, orange, yellow, green, and blue and purple of the rainbow in them, so I wanted to get it as close as I possibly could. So this is what we have, and I'm going to leave it open like this for a couple hours, I would say, until it's dry enough to do a swatch and kind of show you what it looks like. And these are going to, the colors are a little bit darker than I was hoping, but they are still wet, so... That is what that looks like compared to, do I still have the picture here? The highlighter on here, which my screen is going to be all wobbly. So I did the colors in the same order, the pinky, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and tried to get it as similar as I could. So we will see how well this uh, swatches afterwards. Oh. See, it's still wet, so it's going to be, like, insane when I swatch this. <laughs> Alright, we'll see. Maybe I should have used pastel colors, but that'll be a lesson for next time. So that's what that looks like right now. Alright, so we are going to test it here. Sorry for all the shadows. My camera is on a tripod, obviously. So, um, I think the best way, because I'm not going to be able to get all the colors on my hand at once, I'm going to do a few at a time. It's still a little bit damp, so it's still, like, super pigmented. But I think it's going to work for what we want it for here, so. It definitely gives you the rainbow effect, but it's super duper pigmented. So I think if I do this again, I'm going to mix each color with a silver or a lighter, like, a white or something to make it more pastel but it definitely gives you the rainbow effect and if you blend it out it's very pronounced <laughs> but like I said you can use any eyeshadows so I would definitely use lighter ones next time but it uh, gives you that rainbow effect and you have the basics of how to make it now so yeah I think I'm gonna do this again with lighter colors so that I can get it tweak it and get it exactly right but this was my uh, my little experiment of how to get make your own rainbow highlighter it's more like a rainbow face paint than a highlighter, but it is still damp. Um, once it's completely dry, I'm going to see how it looks, but this reddish one definitely turned out darker than I thought it was going to be because it's it was always a very like pinkish shade, and now it's very red. So yeah, that is how you make it. Do it with whatever colors you want. You could do like 
neutrals and browns to make like a neutral highlighter or normal highlighter shade but I thought this would be fun to test out so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you in my next video I'm sorry my voice is like this I have like insane allergies today so I'm trying not to sniffle and be annoying but that is why I sound congested so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you later